two. Coming to a good ten. Release together! Oh, oh, oh. Lock in! Hold! Go three. Tackle three. <laughs> Release him twice! Up and down! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold! Back. Looking it through the middle. And they're almost on the halfway mark, but uh, some good defense coming from the Hunters. Back now inside the red zone. As so they work it back towards the center. The last time was back in 2006, I think. So they're not new to. Uh, this is little half back in uh, Christian Hazard is picked up and driven back in a three man tackle. So there's still 10 meters out. The do they had the uh, Dolphins uh, bring the ball back, but look at the tackle again. Tackle on Thompson uh, picked up and driven back five meters. Good effort there from uh, the Hunters. So they're going in twos and threes. And that's the only way to stop those big men coming at them. And now, why is it? He walked a short time now and he started to go back to the open. And now, they take it over the red mark. The 10 meter mark, that is. To the Northern Pride. Hampton. The Hunters, Maru must be having nightmares. Just can't seem I, to hold the ball. I tell you what, the Hunters are inviting the right back into the game here. Now they they start the set inside the, the Hunters uh, 40. Yeah, Hunters defense uh, has been solid. But they, can they hold on with only five minutes before the break? Taking the tap and then... Uh, they bring the ball back in field to Graham Clark. Place it back. Uh, Kevin Mosby ran a classic block uh, on Blender Barber trying to get to the fullback. Clever play there by uh, Gala Mosby, saving a try there. A definite try. But what a break. One of those rare breaks by Israel Elliott. You're in the hole. Go three. The outside. Mark it. 22 now. 22. Go four. Go four. They're retreating. Oh, tackle. One foot on the line. The completion rate from the Hunters, it's not that bad. I think the one thing that he has taken out of his game, though, Scott, in the times we've seen it this season. Solid run too, and a good run. That's what they need. And uh, that was the number 16 in Brandy Peter, who's a nuggety young bloke. He just loves charging forward and kept in front of the uprights. Watch over Piora. Now to Enoch Markey. And again, good defence, but they've made about five metres. Oh, oh. Go three. Outside. Offload, offload. Play on, play on. Still three. Scooty. Off the leg! Scooty. Dolphins half. Puara into dummy half. And then he finds Mosin Meninga. He offloads. Woods. There's another break. And they're away again, the Kumuls. They're in the space. They've got support on the inside. And here's Segiaro. Segiaro. Across the ground as the hunters working it out of their own danger zone. Here, hold. Looking for a solid. Moses Meninga brought down. Last one here for uh, for PNG. Boas. Except put. Quality and star growth for men. We'll start with the PNG hunters as a whole. Second in the competition with their defence. They won their preliminary line, Pete Bedell. 
Well, the Hunters now, they need to start building some pressure. They've been under the pump and they need to affect the momentum shift. The best way to either playing up. Meninga. John Greve in there making the tackle with Jai about Good tackle. Jai. Solid hit again from Brandon Smith. He's come up with a couple of good tackles in the last little bit. That one on. This Hunter side will just basically overwhelm you. It's a terrific set from the Hunters off the back of points. There, as we play on here from the penalty for the Hunters, Meninga, he'll play it. They'll play the ball, get up. Ferrara. Jerome Hughes is out of his left wing. Last tackle it is, and the kick will come from inside. There's 132 games of NRL experience in this Penrith lineup. Plays it to Ferrara. And Nixon put, straightens off the left foot. And here's Moses Meninga. He's well named. Continue to do, do well on grand final day. Good footwork. So, uh, the 13th, Moses Meninga. He did well to gain some ground. He was outstanding last week, a real athlete in the Intra Super Cup grand final. Went close to the about that, but whenever they travel to this PNG team, it's an international trip. They've got to go through the whole process. Well, they moved from Cockham, the PNG players, some information on, on a couple of those players. Wartober Puara, the, the dummy half, he spent a pre season with the Rabbits a, a few seasons back, three months. Yeah. Assay Boas, their skipper, is a police officer in Port Moresby. Yeah, well, you heard when. Uh, we we're lucky enough to have the Papua New Guinean Prime Minister Peter O'Neill join us a little while ago. That their ambition eventually is to have a team in the NRL. From an educational point of view, they're learning here precisely. So the 2017 decider. They come here, here in Port Moresby for the third pool game of this World Cup certainly has been a rousing success that was Moses Meninga playing the first carry and Luke Page who's been a, well, a, a next country a good strong one well, that kicking game I guess pretty important for the USA given we know what the back three from the Kumo late on play one there just getting them some momentum very early this is going to be a very dangerous set Meninga will play it. Seguiaro finds Lamb. Now the mid. Looping pass. Olam goes in to score. Olam. I say they won't want to kick any more dead, and Together it's probably easier said Together than done. It, it's a very strong breeze. There's good, strong defence, though, on that occasion. Hold, fellas. Hold. Not in there to stop them. Miranda gets the kick in, it's been taken though, good take there, it's silly mid on by Moses Meninga. David off the ball! Meninga, where's the 13 for the Hunters? Mostly plays in the centres. Quick play the ball, that two. A little bit of Meninga, but still gets his body halfway through the line. Brought down by can't handle. It's come up in the hands of the Kummels again. Desperate defense made there by the hooker.